Hi, this is my first 556 timer chip flyback driver. I have actually have never seen one of these videos of someone using a 556 chip, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial soon for those that are interested in using the 556 timer chip. It's a 14 pin timer chip. Uh, it's a dual 555 timer chip basically. There's not a lot of, well there's really not anything that I found on these chips and how to use them. So I wanted to show y'all what it's like in operation. First off I'm using a 9 volt battery. Let me just get it connected here. Like I said, these chips are way more reliable, they can hold more voltage. Uh, as much as I've used this one already, it should have been blown out compared to the regular 555s it seems like. Uh, there are ways to prevent 555s from blowing out, but um, these are way more reliable in my opinion. Like I said, I will be doing a tutorial for those of y'all that want to learn how to use these chips. For flyback drivers, it seems like it would be more reliable, just a bigger chip, more options and everything. Uh, let me find the, kind of get an idea of what these chips are like next to, let's say like, I have it written down here, this is a 555, you got your ground trigger, out, reset, discharge, threshold, and control for those pin first A on this one, and you have the ground on seven. Your main voltage is on 14, and when you're doing these chips, I'm not gonna go into full detail until my next video, but when you're running like, let's say the flyback driver, try to concentrate all of your polarity on one side of the chip because you'll notice that they have the identical thing, same thing on each side here. So it's basically, it goes like this to like that, kind of like that. So you could actually run two flyback drivers off of one of these with the proper MOSFET and resistors and uh, capacitor setup system. These chips are pretty awesome. But until next time, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to exactly set one of these up. And for those that are smart enough to figure it out by just looking, Basically, it's almost identical to the 555 timer chip, just all on one side, figure out what's what and what does what, memorize the 555 timer chip, and then, you know, it's fucking black and white, really, but I will make a tutorial. Y'all have a great day.